State health officials are taking a closer look at what chemicals are in drinking water. They, along with federal officials, are paying attention to the PFA substances. They, they say those are types of forever chemicals, and that for the first time today, DHEC discussed new standards for our drinking water. 7 News' Elise Devon has more on the story. PFA substances are found in just about everything, and experts say the damage is irreversible. DHEC says while scientists are still in the early phases of learning more, it's important that South Carolina prepares for what they do know is coming. From clothing and cooking utensils to air and soil, PFA substances are water repellent chemicals found everywhere. While they've provided useful properties for consumers, it's now come to the attention of health experts that they've been putting people and the environment at risk. The EPA has stated that approximately 80% of a person's exposure to PFAS comes from consumer goods. On Monday, the South Carolina Department of Health and Environmental Control addressed where it's most important to be mindful of PFAS, drinking water. PFAS are in water, but they don't start out in water. They're man-made chemicals, and they get there because of their use in uh, certain manufacturing processes and products, and also consumer goods. Over the course of three years, the Environmental Protection Agency has been crafting a response to these forever chemicals. Their first announcement will come soon, and in the meantime, South Carolina says they are ready. We began hearing that the UCMR3 laboratory detection limits were not low enough, and that new lab methods had lower detection limits, and that if we were not finding PFAS in our state, then we were not looking at low enough detection levels. DHEC is reassuring South Carolinians that while PFAS aren't going anywhere, officials are actively preparing for the impact. This includes educating everyone on what these chemicals are and where they can be found. DHEC says this meeting is one of many briefings they'll be hosting over the coming weeks to address their plan once the EPA's announcement is out. In Spartanburg County, Elise Devlin, 7 News. If you'd like to learn more about these PFAS chemicals, there's a link on our website that should break everything down.